I'm a year older than you ha! in the age race. And I want to be mobile and agile until the day I die. I like your get back up routine. Anything else you would recommend for general population, agility and mobility? Yeah, let's just start from the basics. Uh, let's just, we'll just start and build from there for you, John, okay? Uh, whenever you're doing a chore, try to stand on one foot. Now, I know you said agility and mobility, but agility starts with balance. Um, try, try to, when you're walking around, this is something Clarence Bass does, and I, I've, I've taken to it, walk on and off curbs. Uh, just play, you know, as you're walking down the street, play on the curbs a little bit, you know, step on, step up, step on, step up. Um, find ways to challenge your balance uh, when you're, you know, I'm not a huge believer in, in step ups and things like that. But if you have several different things you can step up and down on just to practice. I also like the speed skater exercise where you go left leg, right leg, left leg, right leg. Uh, a really interesting way to make it more difficult. Uh, I don't have a ball here, but you can just shove something into your neck like this and do the same exercise. And you'll find that when you squeeze on a ball here or a checkbook, uh, this is, a for those of you in your 20s, a checkbook, a book that holds checks. Um, the uh, By forcing you to, this puts you under stress, and that's good when you do it uh, like this. Uh, I like loaded walking in place, John. Uh, that's when you, like in a suitcase carry, you put, you put a weight in one hand and you march in place. And to make it harder, you go slower. You go slower. Now, from there, uh, we'll just stop there. There's others like you can type in vertical bird dog and see my article on that. That's another step up. But what I want you to do first is be stable on one foot. Um, I've never been a big believer in training agility. I've always liked agility be a much more natural thing. That's why I think hiking is such a good thing to do with the uneven terrain and stuff. Uh, playing games of any kind. Uh, I play this game I invented with my grandchildren called Tag. Um, I touch you and you become it, and then it chases the rest of us around. Uh, it's hard to play the game because I laugh so hard when I'm playing it, but the dodging and diving and things like that. So for agility, I'm a big believer in pure play. Have some fun playing catch with the Frisbee, playing catch with the ball. Uh, you're going to have to lean over, pick the ball up, pick up the Frisbee chase the frisbee you're gonna have to go and do all these different things to me that's real life mobility and maybe your shoe might catch sometime and well you have to rebound out of it on mobility i've got to tell you tim anderson's original strength is what we do um if you don't know any of his work type in just type in original strength he's got a million videos on uh, youtube and some other platforms i can't recommend enough if you if you go to my YouTube account, Dan John, I have a whole bunch of them, but he's much better than me. And I just show you the basics. But I I learned so much from Tim. And one of the things about mobility, mobility is the free movement around a joint, is that the thing I like about uh, original strength is that there's a you kind of pulse in and out of movements. You you like rock, you rock in and out of movements. And so you gently lengthen, I hate you, whatever. I know what lengthen means. I, I'm sure there's no science behind it. But you slowly roll and lengthen and rock and slide yourself back into a more mobile place. It's done miracles with my hips and knees, and, I, and I'm, I'm sold. Uh, John, uh, congratulations on being older than me. Uh, I will continue to try to catch up.